Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we are here to see a few more modifiers. So and more specifically, we will see explode and align along the Z axis. We will skip uh, invert just uh, because it makes more sense to show these functions when we have uh, already machine in operations. So I will show it later on along our path. Let's start immediately. Explode. What Explode can do for us? Well, Explode, like uh, the name says, uh, is needed to explode the geometries. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, ways. So I go and use the text. We have seen it already, how to use the text. So I'm going to just prepare a letter S. As you can see here on the right panel is recognized by the software as text. But what if I want to change something on this letter? I don't know, maybe I want to create a new font or I mean make some modification, right? I can select it, go in modifiers and explode. As you can see from the right panel now is not recognized anymore as a letter. Now is a polyline. And at this point I can double click and modify what I need to modify. So selecting the point, I can move the points. and confirm. And usually the second way, because maybe you are working on something more complex, you already have polylines, like in this case is a closed polyline. I can select it and explode it again, just to get all the geometries that are making the entire shape. And then at this point I can, you know, modify one by one or get rid of some of them, you know, and do what I need to do. The second thing we have to see today is uh, a line along the Z axis and I prepared already a drawing. So let's switch to the program number two. And as you can see, now we are using the top view and if you are looking from the top, nothing is weird on this drawing, right? It looks like a cabinet side and this can be a DXF you import from a third party software, you know, because this happens often. Um, looking from the top again, nothing is weird on this drawing, but if we use the orbital, view just to change our perspective as you can see the geometries have all different coordinate along the z-axis and you don't want that because if you create a panel with the geometries in different position you need to keep in mind that the depth will be taken directly from the position in Z of each geometry. So of course if I say depth 10 for this geometry here is gonna consider 10 millimeter down from the position of the geometry so I will be here but if I do the same thing for this one maybe I or I'm already cutting you know the panel through and maybe I'm also cutting the table so we need to pay attention to it. How I can fix this quickly? I can select everything and use our function align along the z-axis. 
at this point I can also specify the position zero usually is fine for what has to be done you confirm nothing is changed from uh, you know looking at the panel from the top view but now if we change view as you can see is a regular 2d drawing i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and in the next video we will uh, keep uh, looking at the modifiers we will see how to use and create chamfers and fillets stay tuned